All right. So in this video, we are going to talk about SOSL or SOSL, Salesforce Object Search Language. So we are using SOSL for searching. Unlike SOCL, Salesforce Object Query Language, which is um, a select statement, like select something right from which object do you want to select it from where and then you define the criteria what do you want to select with sauce you use the find statement so find what do you want to find and in what fields do you want to find it on or you can define in all fields returning what objects do you want to return from the account object and then the name field and the contact object and then the first name field and the last name field right so we can go ahead and try this on our playground let's go ahead and try that so we can know how it works i'm going to pop up my hands on orgs there go here and then uh, launch our developer console on the gear icon developer console pop that up and we have the query editor right wait for a few seconds for it to launch this is from the previous videos I am going to clear this out I'm just gonna close this out and uh, close that out and then you have the query editor so you can do SOCL or SOSO query over here so if I flip back, did I copy the code here? Let's copy it. We should have SFDC, right? So copy, flip back here, and you paste it there. So, oh, not that. I just want to do the find. Not the whole. There. Okay, so did I copy the wrong thing? Oh, yeah, we don't want to copy this. This whole line. This is just the 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 fine, the fine saucer query. So you can paste just the fine one, and then you execute that. Mm. All right, right. Because this is actually on the saucer. Uh, you have to actually use curly braces here. Sometimes copying and pasting have its own problems, okay? You have to actually <laughs> write it down or type it up. So there we go. We have the SFDC computing, SFDC account, the SFDC query man on the account because we asked to query the account and the contact. And we have three contacts there, right? Pretty awesome, right? So three contacts that's related to the... Um, SFDC query all right so if I flip back to here so what are the differences and similarities between SOCL and SOSL like SOCL SOSL allows you to search your organization's records for specific information specific unlike SOCL which can only query one standard or custom object at a time, a single social query can search all objects. Look at that. It's a time saver, right? Okay. So another difference is that social matches fields based on a word match. So it's already a wild card. So you don't have to use your star or your... Um, percent signed right while SOCL performs an exact match by default when not using wild cards okay so you can read the text on your own let's just do the hands-on stuff okay so this is for creating the sample accounts which we have done on the previous SOCL um, video so we are going to skip that part we just did the actual query on here, 
which we just did. Now let's do the next one. And this is basically the syntax of a social query. You use the find keyword. What are you finding? But remember, it has to be in curly braces, okay? Find, what are you finding? In what? Or in all fields. In what? In search group. Returning what? Object and fields, okay? So, search group, this one, search group, is optional. It is the scope of the fields to search. If not specified, the default search scope is all fields. Search group can take one of the following values. All fields, name fields, email fields, phone fields, sidebar fields. Pretty cool, right? Okay. So, you can use single words and phrases. A search query contains two types of text. Single word like test, hello, Jimmy, SFDC, or whatever, right? So words in the search query are delimited by spaces, punctuation, and changes from letters to digits and vice versa. Words are always case insensitive. So it doesn't matter if you have used capital letters or lowercase letters. It doesn't, it, it does not matter, okay? Phrase, collection of words uh, and spaces surrounded by double quotes like this, John Smith, okay? Multiple words can be combined together with logic, like or and and statement, and grouping operators to form more complex query. We will talk about that like this. Wingo or man, so it's this is inside the query, okay? Or you can just do a number or you can use a wildcard with a star there instead of percent. All right. So let's do this one. Social Apex example. Okay. Let's copy this thing. And we are going to use the execute anonymous window. Flip back to our developer console and control E for opening your execute anonymous window. Right. I'm going to open that up a big a big a bigger screen delete this and paste this so basically what are we doing here we are doing a social find on all objects basically wingo or sfdc if wingo found it's going to be returned right what are we returning account the name of the account and the contact the first name last name and department so go and find it and then we are going to put the results on an array. So the account array, this is the actual variable name of the array. And then you do this statement to put the result of the search list element 0, which is the first element. This is the first element, right? Account, you put it here. Contact, you put it here. Okay, so the, the, the search context is contact array search list element, the second element. The search list, the second element, right? Put it into contact. If you flip this around, you will need to flip this around too. For example, if I say, go find contact first and then go find account. Okay, or actually, we have to actually do this. If I do this, boom, right? And then you put the comma here, like that. And then I have to change this. One, because the first element is contact. Returning the first element, the second element. The second is a count, right? One, zero and one. So, System.debug found the following accounts and then you loop through it and then another system.debug found the following contacts and then you loop through it. Let's actually do this thing. I'm going to execute and we have the log and then we just want to see the debug log. Okay, the return debug there. Debug found the following accounts as FDC and SFDC account and SFDC query man. 
found the following context, Ruiz Carroll, Ruiz Mario, and Barn Samuel. So you see the flipping around works. Oops. Let me do control E again. So I flip it, right? I flip it, the contact and the account, and it still works because we switch also the contact, the first, and then the second is the account. So you have to flip that too. So there you know how to place and then how to loop over it, okay? So that's pretty much it for Saucel. Well, that's basically the foundation of it. You can, you can code your own code um, and play around with it a whole lot more um, complex code to search through stuff, right? So basically, you can create later on maybe a visual force page that can search through multiple objects like you are doing here, right? If you search something here, it's going to return whatever object it's 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 uh, it found whatever keyword you, you put here if you put smith it will search through all objects but because this is a playground we don't have that many data so it's just returning contacts right but for example if i create a new account or a new whatever yeah let's do it. if i if i do a new account here just name, just name the account Smith, Dick Smith, you know, you know Dick Smith, Electronics, whoever from New Zealand would know it, in Australia probably, I lived there for a few years, um, just name it Dick Smith, okay, and I'm going to save Dick Smith here, so now if I go search Smith here, it's not just going to return contacts, but it has to have an account well maybe it's not indexed yet we should have account we should have um like this this is a saucer right maybe it takes a few seconds there now it comes right because lightning you know lightning just takes a few seconds to pick up so now if you search smith it, it returns an account and a contact object this is a saucer so you can also create this type of search um, coding your own visual force page later on when we learn visual force and do some social and do exactly this functionality with your own social your own apex code which is going to be fun all right so that's pretty much it so we are going to close this up and do the challenge but do the challenge on the next video i'll see you on the challenge hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the salesforce app exchange and do yourself a favor like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.